Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Shobha Badigir. I'm a consultant pediatric hemato-oncologist and bone marrow transplantation physician in Mazumdar Shaw Medical Center, Narayana Health, Bangalore unit. I want to talk about blood cancers in children. Blood cancer sounds very scary, but it is highly curable in children. Blood cancers is also seen in adult, but unlike adult, it is much more curable and the cure rate is as high as 90% in children. Blood cancer in medical terminology is called leukemia and there are two types, acute lymphoblastic leukemia and acute myeloid leukemia. In this, the blood cells that are affected are the white blood cells, but indirectly red blood cells and platelets are also affected because of their production. How do we know a child has cancer and what is the age group in whom this is commonly seen? Blood cancer can affect any age group from infants to adults. The child can come with usually the child is 5 to 8 years but can affect the adolescents and infants as well. How do we know the child has cancer? Usually the child presents with fever like any other infection and this fever does not come down with routine treatment with antibiotics and other treatment that is given for routine fever that is seen in OPDs. In addition to fever, the child might also have bone pains, joint pains, may not be able to walk comfortably, can have severe back pains as well. Because of the production of the platelet being affected, the child can even have small spots, red spots on the skin, which is the bleeding in the skin, bleeding from the mouth or nose or anywhere in the body. In addition to this, the hemoglobin is less because of the reduced production of red blood cell or destruction of red blood cell and so the child look pale which is anemia. Because the white blood cells are abnormal and non-functional, the child can also have various infections starting from cough, cold like pneumonia or any abscess anywhere. So when these children come with these symptoms that is fever, body ache, platelet bleeding or infections and the pediatrician usually looks for common conditions like infection, tuberculosis and other various common conditions with common blood tests. With all these, if no diagnosis is made, within one to two weeks, a malignancy has to be suspected. We do what is called complete blood count, wherein we see abnormal counts in the form of low or very high white blood cell count, associated with low platelet count and low hemoglobin. When we do another test called peripheral smear, in some patients we can see the cancer cells called blasts in the peripheral smear. We confirm the test with bone marrow test, in which we do special tests called flow cytometry which confirms whether it is acute lymphoplastic leukemia or AML. Once the diagnosis is confirmed, we counsel the patient, teach them everything about cancer and their treatment and convince them that it is a highly curable disease in children. How is it treated? We treat the child with drugs called chemotherapy. It is not a scary treatment because it is given like any other medicines like uh, glucose, commonly known glucose drip or antibiotics. We use special equipment called central venous catheter which is placed in the hand or in the chest surgically which makes it very painless for the patient. The child does not experience any pain while going through chemotherapy. There are some side effects that can happen because of chemotherapy. These are vomiting, nausea, hair fall. But these are temporary and easily manageable. Some of the complications which are temporary but difficult to manage and serious are infections and bleeding and severe anemia requiring transfusions. These also when detected at a very early stage, they can be easily managed. So the patients are educated how to prevent infection, how to recognize these complications and come to the hospital immediately for treatment. Long-term complications with the available medications are very few and rare. These are complications because of the drugs affecting the heart, liver or kidney. But as I said, it is extremely rare. However, we keep the child under monitor at least five years and then yearly afterwards. The chances that the cancer will come back after completion of treatment is around 5 to 10 percent. 80 to 90 percent in leukemia, that is ALL, is curable. And in AML, almost 60% of children with AML are cured. Those children who are not cured or who come back with the disease a second time can again be 50% of these children can again be cured with higher treatment called relapse chemotherapy and bone marrow transplantation. In short, 
children who are cured with chemotherapy or bone marrow transplantation can lead a normal life, can go to school like any other child. They'll have to be in with regular supervision yearly as the doctor advises them to monitor their growth, their hormones and uh, like I said, their rare and few side effects that are long term. So cancer is not a disease where one has to lose hopes. I'm hopeful that very soon, especially ALL, will become a disease like tuberculosis which can be completely cured. As of now, these diseases are highly curable and there are various agencies to help the family overcome this crisis. The school will be missed during this period but can be catched up in our institute with special teaching programs available in Mazumdar Shah Medical Center. Thank you.